Welcome to our lecture online. Our next venture here is trying to find a way to convert from, from spherical coordinates to the GPS coordinates so that we can actually take any point on the surface of the Earth in terms of X, Y, Z and convert that to GPS coordinates in order to find the geodesic between any two points on the Earth, the shortest distance between any two points. So how do we do that? Well, notice that in GPS coordinates, we have latitude and we have longitude. The longitude goes around the Earth like this, parallel to the equator. The latitude goes up and down towards the North Pole or the South Pole. We then realize that the longitude angle is going to be the same as the angle phi. If we start from the point where the, lo where the longitude is zero, at the point where Greenwich is near London, and we go to the right, we have a positive phi angle. We go to the left, we have a negative phi angle. So that's kind of the zero point for the phi angle. And so that, makes, that means that it's exactly the same as the phi angle in the spherical coordinates. So we have to make no change between phi and the angle called longitude. But for latitude, we have to make a change. Notice in spherical coordinates, the angle theta is referenced to the North Pole. The angle here, we call lambda, which we represent for the latitude, is referenced from the equator. So we have a positive 90 degrees when we go to the North Pole and a negative 90 degrees when we go to the South Pole. So somehow we have to convert these two angles. And we can see here that the latitude angle is equal to 90 degrees minus theta. Now let's check that for a moment. If theta is equal to zero, lambda will be 90 degrees. That makes sense. And if theta is equal to 90 degrees, then lambda will be zero degrees, will be at the equator. So that makes sense. So let's convert this then. Let's calculate theta. Theta is therefore equal to 90 degrees minus lambda. So what we're going to do here is we're going to replace every angle here, theta, by 90 minus lambda. But if we think about it, if we take the sine of theta, which is equal to the sine of 90 degrees minus lambda, that is the same as the cosine of lambda. And we can take the cosine of theta and say that is equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus lambda, which is therefore equal to the sine of lambda. So all we have to do is to convert from theta to lambda, we have to convert from sine to cosine, which means that we can say that x is therefore equal to r times the cosine of lambda times the cosine of phi, and y is equal to r times the cosine of lambda times the sine of phi, and z is equal to r times the, let's see here, that would be, instead of cosine, would be the sine of lambda. And so now we have the same x, y, z coordinates not converted to the GPS coordinates. That will now allow us to find the position vector r in terms of the GPS coordinate, which now means that we can take the position vector r and define it as x in the i direction plus y in the j direction plus z in the k direction. And then I can convert that into these coordinates right here. So we now say that r is equal to, and notice that every one of these has an r in it, so I can actually factor out an r, and that's not a very nice angle arrow, there we go. So I can factor out an r and I can write this as the magnitude r, which is the radius of the earth, times the cosine of lambda, which is the latitude, times the cosine of phi, which is the longitude in the i direction, plus y, which would be the cosine of lambda, which is the latitude, times the sine of phi, which is the longitude in the j direction, and then time plus the sine of lambda, which is the latitude, in the k direction. And this now becomes the position vector of any point on the Earth's surface in terms of latitude and longitude and with the radius of the Earth. So this is the vector we're going to use now in order to try to find the geodesic, the shorter distance between any two points on the surface of the Earth. And that is how it's done.